Jay worked your way back into the contest there in the second half, but often you just probably didn't get, didn't get it done in the end. No. Uh, first quarter was excellent. We probably left too many chances out there with opportunities to score. The second quarter was where the damage was done. We lost contest by 16 and a quarter, which in any competition around the country you're going to be under the pump and we're not able to capitalise on any type of, if there was a, a breeze going that way in the second, we didn't kick a goal with it, which was frustrating. Uh, yeah, but it was more the way we played in the second. I didn't feel as though it looked anything like what at our best we can be, but I thought the third quarter was arguably our best quarter of the year. It was fantastic. The leaders led. Uh, they were able to make some really good contest wins and probably didn't make the most of the chances again. So last quarter when we had a fair, probably 12, 15 minutes, didn't really come out of our half, but uh, they two big boys take two big marks late and there was a difference in the end. Speak about that third quarter, it really came on the back of your pressure. I think you had 33 tackles in the first half and then 33 tackles in the third quarter. Yep. Is that sort of the fundamental of what you want to come and get? Yeah, I think most people watching the game would have seen that that was the shift. There were 14 tackles in the second quarter and minus 16 in the contest compared to win the contest by seven, I think it was, in the third and, and tackle for Australia. So, uh, yeah, it's the consistency in our games was lacking at the moment. and those patches. I think we've been far more resilient in times where we've lost momentum, but the consistency of being able to stay in it and do the right thing at the right time has been the thing that's just cost us at key moments, especially in the last two weeks. You needed a bit of a spark in the second half and Coy Lockman debut was fantastic. I thought, you know, kick three goals and really good fruit looked like it was going to be a match winner for you there for a while. Yeah, Goy's been a good player back in Victoria and it took a little while just to adapt to things over here and how we wanted to play, but yeah, felt like every time in his area something good was happening and he, he plays a lot of verve and spirit and he's a bouncy type of player and it was a good debut from him. Um, did you change things up at half-time? It's bigger. Uh, conditions were very tough, but I saw you kicking the ball around through the middle of the ground throughout the second half a little bit more moving forward. No, no, we didn't change anything. No, we, as I touched on before, we started closing out opposition when they were about to pick up the ball or had the ball and created loose ball for us and... We looked very dangerous going forward and yeah, we created lots of opportunities. It was some excellent play in the third quarter. Uh, but it was a tough game. I think both teams only had 240, 250 touches. So it was a game of high tackle, low inside 50, low possession. And in the end, the better team won. Yeah. I think with your leaders in the first sort of quarter, I thought they really stood up. Um, Nani and Kennelly especially thought were fantastic. And you know, that was sort of the driving force behind you there as well. Are you looking for them, obviously, for the next few weeks as well? Yeah, it's that? critical. The leaders get nominated for a reason. And game day performances where they get assessed the strongest and where their teammates want them to lead. I thought their leadership was more prevalent in the third quarter, personally. I thought we did start well. I thought we touched on before, didn't score heavy enough when we had the momentum, but their third quarter, all of them had moments of uh, imposing themselves either in a contest or to win the ball back or just to do something for the team that was required. So it's uh, pleasing with the way they were able to lead from the front for the third quarter, but probably just not enough over four quarters. Leadership overall, um, we obviously made that change a couple of weeks ago, Kenley becoming a co-captain. How have you found that move um, on game day and throughout the week? Well, we made the decision because it was the best thing for Norwood and it gave Matt assistance. Jacob's well qualified, he's embraced it, they work well together. Yeah. And next week off to Port Lincoln, um, not only a, a massive game for the team but also a big week for the football clubs? Yeah, it's enormous. Playing in our zone, there's a lot of organisation that goes into it and yeah, clubs club did a great job with how we organised it last year. It was a positive weekend for us and it's another great opportunity. It's sort of the situation we're in. That it's far from ideal with not having won a game after five leagues, but we no one giving up on the group or anything other than how can we maximise the learnings from today that are going to make us better next week and integrate a bit of stability within the team, hopefully, if we can, with um, players with growing in positions, if we can get that. But playing in EP means a lot to our club.